Okay, in the front we have um, we have a Sony A80L, 83 inch um, Perlison S7T for left and right. The center is a S7C, and the front main subs are a Perlison D D215S. Hey guys, what's going on? It's that Home Theater dude. We're out here in Katy, Texas, about to show you the world famous Doyle uh, home theater that he's made out here in his lovely garage. If you guys think that garages are something to, to kind of snub, I've been in this room and you guys need to check this thing out. It's really, really cool. So we're about to let you guys know all about the Perlison system he has in here. We're gonna let you guys know about the ins and outs of it. We're gonna do it right at the intro. So uh, when I first started this theater, uh, my base was my old theater at my old house in Indiana, which was about 25 feet wide by 21 feet deep and probably an average of nine foot ceiling. It was a, a great room um, and I wanted to up it. I wanted to make a better room. Uh, I decided to go for the garage because my wife, basically I... Uh, I made her hate home theater forever by just taking over that living room. And so we agreed when we bought the house, I said, just give me the garage. She said, great, I don't have to hear it. And um, since then, uh, I enlisted my, uh, my neighbor who's a contractor, woodworker, to build most of the stuff in here. And I met this beautiful man from El Salvador named Julio. And he handles everything else, electricity, carpet, AC. He always knows somebody who knows somebody. and through all of these people, I've built this silly, irresponsible room. Overall, I think it's, personally, it's the best I've ever heard. <laughs> but I like what I like. Um, yeah, I, regarding performance, I have, I don't really desire anything. I only thing I desire right now in this room, performance-wise, is prof professional calibration. Um, yeah. Maybe a sofa that's not so deep. It's minor stuff. Um, the audio is r literally to my liking. I actually uh, over... I put too much absorption in here. And uh, through somebody's suggestion, I added some first reflection diffusion that opened things up. Uh, from there, I was encouraged to experiment with the lower level diffusion. And I mean, it's perfected to my taste. Um, I've had people come over People can respect it. People even with totally different taste and audio, they can respect it even if it's not their cup of tea. And um, you know, home home theater is sort of like uh, sort of like even if you don't particularly like somebody else's preferred sound, you can still enjoy their theater. You know, it's like you can even if you don't like soccer, you can still watch the World Cup with people who love it, and it's still a good time. You know, so um, I am I'm at the pinnacle of audio precision with this room. I actually overdid it because those subwoofers are silly. Next, there is a next. Next would be that TV. Uh, I am I just measured. I, th I think I'll be good and satisfied with the 97 inch. Um, I think so. It'll be the TV and just like finish hiding those wires. Um, those rear subs are on wooden stands, so I'll cover them with black velvet and then just get that final uh, calibration. Uh, also paint like the, uh, paint the, what is it called, joists, the ceiling joists. I'll probably do that. Like, we're really close to being done. Okay, in the front we have, um, we have a Sony A80L, 83 inch um, Perlison S7T for left and right. The center is a S7C. And the front main subs are a Perlison D, D215S, they are stacked. Um, all of the, all the things that would be in a rack, it's under the TV right now. So you have a uh, Kaleidoscape, you have a uh, Storm Audio ISP Core 16, and um, you have three Buckeye 
amps, uh, the one that powers the, the left, right, and center are Purify. So um, the room dimensions. Uh, it, the room was originally, what, 23 feet, 4 inches deep, about 20 feet wide, and uh, 10 feet um, average. It's got a, what, like a cathedral ceiling. Um, after the, all of the uh, acoustical stuff is, has been installed, it's about 16 and a half wide um, and 21 deep, and it's still about 10 feet in height. Uh, the side surrounds are Perlison S5T. Um, I got big surrounds just because Dirac Art likes, uh, you know, full range. Everything plays full range, so it's just more flexibility. Um, <laughs> overhead in subwoofer terms. The rear are more towers. Are they the R series, the R5T, and um, subwoofers in the back. Um, now the, the rear subwoofers all support the two mains in the front. So the rears are the, uh, the JTR RS2s and the center rear speaker is a, a Harbala Audio M24. Cody himself actually built that, that clo enclosure. And um, yeah, it's, a, it's mated to a, a Marani. It's, it's one, of the, one of those fancy Marani uh, amplifiers. MDA 2-2500P, I think. And you said this is the 24? The 24, yeah. Jeez. That driver is stout. Yeah. Boom, no lie. <laughs> <laughs> so up high on the ceiling, mounted facing down, we have four Arundel Sound 1723 Height S. Um, I had the smaller versions, the 1961 Height S before, and I just I just wanted to get the bigger ones just to see, and um, it's you know, I, I guess it sounds slightly more dynamic. It it can get louder. They're so big. They're not you know I don't think they're meant to really be on a ceiling. <laughs> but uh, the 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 ceiling speakers don't sound small. It it doesn't sound like it's lacking. So they're gonna stay up there for now. Okay, room acoustics. Room acoustics. So I have. Um, I, I've been following a company called Acoustic Fields for a long time, and um, I've used them before. It worked, though they take a lot of space and they're pricey and they're heavy. But I have um, some of their huge uh, low frequency absorbers. I think I have 12, but 10 are in here. Uh, so yeah, so I have 10 of those, and I have four of their thinner versions of those, and then I have four DIY builds that my neighbor made based off of their design. So that's what 12, no, that's 10 plus eight. Yeah, so that's 18 uh, low frequency absorbers. We have diffusion all across the rear that my neighbor <laughs> handmade. And uh, it's a bit of a hot mess if you look closely, but they work. Once they were installed, the, the rear of the room just became silent. Um, and um, on the side, some diffusers I might have mentioned that um towards the rear i just have some um acoustic fields fancy foam to control reflex reflections in the back um we got all carpet with like one inch padding on the floor um and you know we did measurements and because i had i had more absorption than this uh, Matt Pose did those measurements. He said I overdid the room. Then he came back a couple months ago and he was like, you know, I'm doing some research with this, uh, this uh, acoustician slash scientist in this other country and your room might have not been that bad after all. <laughs> but it sounds great. Uh, the, the front stage, that gray part, that's just concrete with a thin, thin carpet over it. So the door is, um, it's got to be a good 400 pounds. I mean, uh, my neighbor made it. It's uh, it's MDF, and it's full of this stuff called um, activated charcoal. It's very heavy for you know the volume. It's very it's very porous, so you get lots of uh, surface area, which is great for you know like it still lets the air flow through. But um, they use it in the, like industrially to purify air, <laughs> and I I found a place that sells it in Houston, and I bought tons of it. 
<laughs> they already knew my name. And so the door, this is a magnet to keep the door like a good seal. And you you gotta push the mess out of it. But uh, it's pretty like homebrew. It's like bro, bro lab created right here. But I mean, it works like I can turn on, you know, I can turn on the, the dryer, which is right there. And I close the door and you can hear it right here, but you walk like by the sofa and it gets way quieter. Um, yeah, it's like, what is that? Maybe five and a half inches thick. Yeah, it's heavy. My wife doesn't complain that much. I mean, it, you know, the house is technically uh, connected to the, the garage is technic technically connected to the house. But um, I can I can let it crank in here and I'll go in there and be like, did you did you hear anything? And she'll be looking at her phone, be like, no, I mean, I heard some rumbles, but it's OK. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up from Katie, Texas, out here in this awesome Perliston room. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comments. I was really, really surprised with this system. I know everyone talks about Perliston. I've only heard their two channel systems, but this was an eye opener for sure. Um, those subs are killer in the front. We also have these incredible big towers right here in the, the front as well. And then just towers all around. If you guys have ever done a full tower system for your home theater, you guys, not, you guys need to check it out. It's, it's, it's pretty cool for sure. This Atmos in here was actually uh, really, really surprising too, um, especially whenever we did that uh, scene. I don't think my, my camera ran out of footage, uh, but whenever we did that scene with the uh, the War of the Planet of the Apes, that one was really, really good as well. There's a lot of details and stuff that I, I didn't necessarily notice from before. That's all I got for you guys. Um, like, share, subscribe. Uh, see you next time. <laughs>